street again Got me head in the game With the red light on I'm just waiting for the change Got me head down low Hi, Jay Fallon. Thanks for listening to The Slippery Slope. So, probably, let's say, uh, let's say two months ago, I was having a conversation with a couple of people, with two people. And both of these people, they, they're not connected in any way other than uh, the three of us, the three of us all, uh, all work in similar areas. Both of these people were talking to me about, about their work life and how they were a little bit dissatisfied with where they currently were at within their work life uh, and where they were going. And they both had a vision to progress within the work areas, the, the work fields which they had chosen. They both had a vision to progress. Uh, however, both of them felt that they were becoming stagnant and they weren't achieving the things, the goals that they wanted to achieve. Now, one of these persons had said, that they would really like uh, some specific training. There were some things that they really wanted to do. Uh, and they were very specific about what they wanted. And they were a little, a little disheartened with, uh, with the way their work was supporting, in their view, supporting some people and not supporting others. Now, at the time, I'd said because I felt, I mean, I try not to always make suggestions. Um, you know, sometimes people just want to vent. I get that. Uh, but, uh, you know, we were all discussing things and I just made a few suggestions. I'd said, uh, well, anyway, I'd made a few suggestions, said, well, maybe, maybe they needed to make some changes, whether that's the uh, changing the the company that they work for, um, just some other changes in general that they could make. Immediately, this person came back. Every time I made a suggestion or any of the su suggestions I made, they came back with a reason why, a reason why they couldn't make that change, why they couldn't do that. There was always an obstacle that was too great. No, I can't do that because of this. And it was always straight away. No, I can't do that because of this. Oh, no, I couldn't do that because I've got this issue. I can't do that because of this problem. No, this other person I know has already tried that and that won't work and this won't work. And there's always an answer to it. Um, and in the end, I thought, well, okay, maybe this person's just wanting to, to vent. That's okay. They obviously don't really want to change. Anyway, the the conversation continued. That person then walked off, and then the con the conversation continued, uh, just between this other person and I. So the two of us are then con then continuing the discussion about work, and I'd recently just made a few changes myself, and I also have other plans. You know, I've got other plans with the podcasting. I've got some plans coming up with with music to record in, uh, a new album. Um, trying to currently trying to write songs. Uh, plans for the podcast that I want to do, plans for the other area where I'm working in. And I had made some changes and I thought, well, and I said to this person, the issue is we, we, we try in, this is just my view, but people want, they want to achieve things, but they want other people to enable them or to allow them to achieve them, to achieve their vision. It's no good if I've got a vision and this is what I want to do, but I'm completely relying on management or on the boss or on someone else to uh, to enable me to achieve the vision, the goals that I have. And if that's not going to work, if that's not going to happen in the environment where I currently am, well, then I need to seriously consider change because this is what I said to the person. If nothing changes, if you don't change, if you don't make a change, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. So we can sit there and whinge and say, well, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to achieve. And why aren't I doing this? Why aren't I allowed to do that? And why aren't, why aren't I allowed to do this kind of project at work? Why aren't I allowed to do this kind of thing? Why aren't management looking at me? If nothing changes, then nothing changes changes sometimes we need to change that's just my opinion thank you for listening to the slippery slope they just feel the